Community leaders in Boulder promised action on guns not long after the King Super shooting killed 10 of their neighbors. Two years later, their fight continues in court. Here's Mark Salinger. Two years ago this week, the fence outside the Table Mesa King Supers turned into a memorial. It didn't take long for Boulder to start talking about guns. I'm proud that we you know, followed up that terrible tragedy, not just with the uh, thoughts and prayers that you hear so often from politicians, but with actual actions. In the two years since the shooting, Mayor Aaron Brockett and the city of Boulder have passed some of the strictest gun laws in Colorado. It started by lobbying the state to allow cities to enact stronger rules themselves. That new found uh, very clear ability that the state gave us uh, stemmed directly from the shooting and, and led, then led to us passing those, those measures. Boulder, along with other cities in the county like Superior and Louisville, passed a suite of new laws last summer, limiting access to guns. The age to buy a gun in Boulder was raised from 18 to 21. People must wait 10 days to purchase a firearm. Boulder passed a measure banning so-called assault weapons, but it's currently on hold as a lawsuit continues. I think we've passed essentially all of the policies that need to be passed here locally. The lawmakers that are passing these bills are insane. Taylor Rhodes is with Rocky Mountain Gun Owners. The group's been granted a temporary restraining order in their lawsuit to stop the enforcement of the so-called assault weapon ban in Boulder. Temporary restraining orders are something that you know, are traditionally used against rapists. Um, and we felt that was necessary in the position that Boulder County put gun owners. He's confident he'll win the lawsuit, but knows he likely can't stop statewide gun legislation from passing in the Democrat-controlled state legislature. We reached him by phone today as he drove through the Western Slope to fundraise to file more lawsuits. The path that we're going with passing anti-gun legislation is clearly not making our community safer. Two years after tragedy, Boulder has passed new laws. Whether all of them can be enforced is still up to a judge. There are, of course, considerable limitations to how much power the laws individual cities pass can have, especially when it comes to guns. For example, the suspect in the Kin Super shooting bought his gun in Arvada before coming to Boulder. Boulder's new laws, even if fully enacted and enforced, would not have stopped that from happening. Are they eyeing new work on this? Do they feel like they're at the end of the road? Yeah, you heard the mayor of Boulder say it right there. They feel like they've done everything that they can locally. Of course, we'll figure out if all of that can be enforced, but they say they've done everything locally. Now it's up to the federal and state governments to see if they can do more themselves. Mark Salinger, thank you.